Hello, I'm Stephen Mayu, and you're watching The Best JS. In this video series, we're learning the basics of Node. Okay, so right now we are on the sixth challenge. I think we're on the sixth. Yeah, we're on the sixth challenge of the Learn You Node uh, CLI command line tutorials. Uh, this is coming from Node School, and this is mainly the source of instruction that you that you get for Node. Uh, if you're a student at Free Code Camp, and uh, not knocking or criticizing Free Code Camp, but I'm just giving back to the community so that uh, it's easier for you to learn this stuff. So anyway, uh, this one is a doozy, and this is where things get uh, really interesting. Let's jump into the challenge, and uh, I always do this. Uh, if you haven't already done so, um, take take a few minutes and read through the instructions and all of the hints, um, this is quite a lot uh, of stuff that you need to kind of take in. Um, so pause the video, take like five or 10 minutes, read it a few times, make sure that you really get comfortable with all the instructions and then come back to the video. Okay, so hopefully you prepared and um, Let's just go over these four things like really quickly, um, just as a reminder for myself, but also to like reiterate it to you, like what we have to do. So we need to uh, create a module that exports a single function that takes exactly the arguments described. So we need the directory, the extension name, and also uh, a callback function. Um, call the callback function exactly once uh, with an error or some data as described. Don't change anything else like global variables or the console.log, the standard out. And uh, be sure to handle all the errors that may occur and then pass them to the callback. Okay, so uh, we're gonna create a, a couple of files first. Uh, I'm gonna delete this guy. Oops, don't look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna delete this guy here. Um, and let's just call it um, my module. We're going to create uh, two files, actually. The first one we'll call it mymodule.js. All right, fantastic. And uh, let's give it an exports.module keyword. This is going to be a function. Let's just make it a fat arrow function. And it's going to take a directory, a, an extension name, and also a callback function. We'll just call it callback. All right, fat arrow. Okay, perfect. So we also want to call in the um, file system and path modules right, because we're doing basically the same challenge as before. We're filtering a list of, of files, but we're just doing it the modular way. Const uh, path. Let's bring that in. Require. Okay, perfect. All right, so. Um, it specified that we shouldn't um, like it, like we're gonna we're gonna export this like as a function and then we're gonna use this file as a function uh, in our in our next file in the main application file and it told us not to append any periods or dots and not to like modify the extension um, we're gonna have to do that in here so let's just get that out of the way and let's just make sure that we add a dot uh, to itself there we go perfect okay and uh, now we are going to call in the read directory method so fs read directory we're going to give it a directory and it's going to take a callback and that uh, callback will accept an error uh, and a list. Okay, perfect. All right, and it uh, made a very big deal about um, made a very big deal about uh, you know handling the errors in our application. So let's make sure that we do that. So if there is an error, we're going to return that error uh, to the callback. So return callback. And uh, we're just going to pass an error. That's all we're going to do. Okay. Now, uh, if there is no error, great. Now we have a list and we are going to filter that list. So let's create a new variable. So we'll say const filtered. And um, let's see, we're going to say list.filter. Okay, we're going to give it a, a fat arrow function. We're going to say a file for each of the names. Give it a fat arrow right here. Perfect. And then 
we are going to return uh, and the same thing as we've done before in the last video path name extension we're just going to filter out by the extension type that's what we're doing here we're using the array method filter uh, okay we're going to filter if it is the same um, so actually we should put file in here perfect all right, so if it is the same, then it's going to go back right here. And then we're going to pass that array of filtered names to um, our callback. So return callback and null will be the first object since that is our error object. And there are no errors, so we're just going to call it with null. And then I'm going to give it a filtered array of file names. Okay, perfect. I'm going to save that. And then let's create a new file. So new file and 06 make it modular.js. Okay, perfect. Now let's require in our module that we have created. Uh, so we'll say const my module. We're going to use the require keyword. And this is not a native node module. So, um, you know, like these are native ones and we just, you know, call it by like FS or path. Uh, but for us, um, because we're going to import our own module, we have to use the relative path uh, of the module. So um, make it modular. This file is in the same directory as our module. So we're going to write dot slash. That means in the same folder and my module.js. Okay. And uh, if you're going to import any JavaScript files in a node application, well, the .js is completely optional. So we can just do that, and it knows to look for my module .js. Now, because we are exporting a single function, a single fat arrow function, my module is now a function. So let's uh, create a couple more variables. So const directory. And that will be process.argv, all right, two, and then const uh, extension. And uh, we're not going to edit it here. We're not going to add the uh, dot right here uh, because we've added it already in our module. And also the instructions told us, get out if you're flying, the instructions told us not to edit it right here. Okay, so now let's call then module. Okay, so we're going to give it our directory. We're going to give it our extension. And now it takes a callback. And that callback will have an error. And it will have a filtered list. Filtered list. Because we uh, filter it out with the array filter method. We stored it in this variable filtered. And then we passed it to the callback function as the second argument, which is available to us right here. So that's our filtered list passed to us from our module. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay. Perfect. And we need to do error handling. That's always a very good idea. So if there is an error, just return console.error, error. Okay. And now we're going to go through our filtered list for each. And let's see, each one is going to be a file. And we have already done our filtering in our module. It's done most of the work. So we're just going to print each of the files to the console. So console.log file. Okay, everything looks good right here. I'm just going to check my code. And um, yeah, this looks good right here too. This is a very you know simple line of code. So I'm actually going to shorten this to one line. Uh, so you can do this in uh, the new ES6 syntax. We get rid of the curly braces. Okay, and we bring everything up on the same line. And if it's on the same line, it's an implicit return. So we can get rid of that and uh, get rid of that semicolon. Uh, okay, perfect. So it should do exactly the same thing as before, but it's just one line and uh, much shorter, you know, easier, concise 
I like it. Okay, everything looks good right here. I'm going to save it. Let's run the test. Learn your node. Verify. And we're going to run 06, make it modular. Does it work? Hopefully. Oops, failed. Uh, what happened? Um, oops, my module is not a function. Uh-oh, I did something wrong right here. Uh, let's see what's happening. Uh, okay, so const my module. Ah, oh, see, my module. Did I spell it right? I think I did. And export stop module. Ooh, wait, wait a second. Uh, let me let me just check the instructions right here. Oops, module.export. Okay, I always get that mixed up module.exports <laughs> and you probably caught it early on too my mistake <laughs> all right so let's try it again and does it work oh thank goodness all right so here is the official solution by node school take a look at it compare uh, your work compare it with mine and uh, that's the best way to learn okay so that was quite a doozy let's take a break in the next video we're just going to keep chugging along and we are finally going to start doing some stuff with servers and making it http client doing all sorts of great stuff so take a break in the next video we will start dealing with the web awesome stuff okay bye bye boop